Hello, this is Mr. Tripi, and I'm going to show you a simple trick to making a nice outline effect on your 3D models. The first thing you need to do is turn on backface cooling on the program that you're using, which hides the backside of your faces. Next thing you need to do is duplicate your mesh. You can name it like underscore or ol for outline or something on this outline mesh you're going to need to fatten it using the shrink fatten function which has a shortcut of alt s now you might wonder what the difference between scale and shrink fatten is now with something that is a regular shape with no concaves like this cube when you scale it or use shrink fan and it'll give you basically the same result however with the with something like this h when you scale it out you will notice that this part doesn't get fatter it just goes out which would be important for something like the legs on the character However, when you use shrink fatten, it fattens it out everywhere. And you can use this offset even to make it a little bit more even and less of this kind of odd rounded effect you get normally. So now you use your shrink fatten and you fatten it out a little bit. And then you hit control F to go into your face menu and hit flip normals. And you can go and make a new material, make it your outline material and have it be your outline color. You can uh, just how thick your outline is by working with the shriek fountain a little bit more and get a less thick one. And you can do things such as turning down the subdivision to give it a more angular look. Get a bit more cartoony style. And of course, you can go into your mesh and adjust the thickness of the outline manually. Or perhaps you could use something like this randomize to randomize the thickness of the outline. Thanks for watching.